Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And if you want to be a part of the Chatterbox, which is my paid channel membership, make sure you go ahead and click the link in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join and you do have to be 18 years old or older. Today I want to talk about a couple little things while I get Aspen Pool ready. Um, for those that may be new to my channel, Aspen is the prototype Aspen sculpted by Claire Teller, painted by me. I decided to keep his name um, as Aspen because I really love the name and I didn't even really think about this that Aspen and London just really makes sense <laughs> um, together so um, it, I guess it's just meant to be so anyway he has his little binky in his mouth I'll take that out <laughs> so you guys can see him with his binky out but I'm putting binky back in all right so I am going to get him dressed hopefully my battery don't go dead so I kind of talked about this a little bit in the um, chatterbox about uh, doing prototypes and um, being a prototype artist. Um, there are some people that uh, primarily do only prototypes and there are some that do mostly pro prototypes and every now and then they do a separate baby for themselves. Um, or for their, you know, friends or special customers or whatever, um, which is cool. Um, I've done only a few prototypes, um, but by some some very um, special people, um, are, are sculptors. Um, my perspective on what a prototype artist job is seems to be a little different from what I see the top prototype artist does um so um i i did learn from my experiences um so i always thought that the prototype artist job was to really just market the kit and i do this every time but i am not so sure on that anymore i don't know why i do this every time like I just, it's like, where is this thing supposed to go? And then my little ugly hands, I've been trying not to show my little ugly hands. I think this is the way it's supposed to go. But I'm not sure. But, all right, Puko. So he, if you, if you guys see him, like, his little neck seems a little loose in that area. I weighted him very loosely, so... He actually, the way that I weighted him actually makes him a little smaller than, look a little smaller than London. And, oh, I know my hands just look so ugly and nasty on that camera. Um, but also, <laughs> but also, um, he is very floppy. So he, he's a lot more floppy too. Because I weighted him to like fall as if like he was silicone. <laughs> um just very loosely so and he does and so that's the way i want him and i but i also like the way uh london is weighted as well so see that's just the difference that you can do so many different things with your babies um with the uh reborns that i love is you can adjust the weighting you know you could change the way you want them to feel versus when you get silicone it is what it is so that's why you have to really be if you are a person that care about the filling of the silicone you got to be very particular about the pour and the softness and all that stuff so anyway i'm gonna try to put him on some socks too but yeah so basically i just always think that the prototype artist job is to market the sculpt and really really like show off the highlight the the greatness of the sculpting and sell the kit um i see a lot of prototype artists they just take you know one or two photos or not one or two photos but one or two poses or one outfit and just take a whole bunch of snaps 
put it up, then they put it up for sale. Their dolls sell for a very high amount, and that's it. And then they're done. Um, so, yeah, so I've decided, um, just based off of, you know, me and how my, my work, <laughs> I don't think I want to be a prototype artist. I think if I do something, I would love to, I love the idea that I get to get the sculpt first and I get to see it firsthand and I get to have that baby in my collection because y'all know I like rarity and stuff like that. But I would love to just be, do uh, kit reviews for sculptors and, you know, basically, as long as they're not, you know, opposed to the way that I paint and my painting style, that I basically, I would be willing to do more of a, um, utilizing my fan base and my platform and my following as a marketing artist um not prototype artists where you know I my pictures don't need to be on you know on the billboard or I don't need to be labeled prototype artists I just would love to get the kits when the prototype artists get the kits <laughs> and you know really market the kit for pre-orders or sales or whatever you know the the sculptor need I think that I thought that the pr prototype artist job was to market the sculpt so that the sculptor can just do what they do best sculpt and not have to be trying to promote their own kit so you know as long as I like the sculpt um, that is something that I would be willing to do and interested in doing um, for other sculptors um, so if you're a sculptor and you're watching and that's something you might be interested in you know me reviewing your kits when they first come out just to boost your sales and stuff like that um definitely you can message me privately um email me pm me whatever on facebook or instagram i prefer to be um facebook and that way you know if as long as like i said you know i don't want to ever lie to my audience i don't want to ever um uh, pretend that i like something that i don't um, I just don't want to do that and so therefore um, <laughs> therefore it's just it's I just I would love to you know kits that I you know that I like or I think is a nice goal I would love to 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 help promote the kit you know um, in that way um, I just don't think that I'm fancy enough to really get into it and, I, and it, it takes a lot um, you know, with the prototypes. So, yeah. So that, that, that would be something I would be more interested in versus me, a per se prototype artist. Um, there was something else I was going to tell you guys about this. Uh, I really forgot. I don't know. But anyway, so <laughs> I think he looks cute. He doesn't have the exact same, what? they might be the exact same socks, actually. I think they are. Um, different onesies, but same color. Um, as London, I had already had this here. Um, and it's funny because a lot of, some of the stuff that came in her box open, I actually had um, in a different size as well in my London. So it's pretty cool. Like, it's nice when you get stuff that's like, you know it's your taste when you got something similar to it or you got the actual one so it's it's really nice so they can dress alike a little bit and stuff like that and um one other thing that i found that was cute about the two of them is that you can't see this on camera but they have a certain type of texture on their nose i did it on him and sylvia also did it on london so i thought that was really cute that we both did the same thing to their noses uh, I mean, it's like almost as that. That's so funny. But yeah, so anyway. Um, yeah, so prototypes is just, you know, and I think people also, um, people uh, hold a prototype artist to a higher standard. And they seem to also be willing to pay more for that work because they are prototype artists. And which I think I... I I have 
two different opinions on it but i do think that they are worth a lot because those artists really have to really work hard and at a usually at a fast pace so you know they have to be able to put out the same quality work as they normally would but in a shorter period of time so i think that alone um definitely commands um respect so i have a lot of respect for prototype artists where in before not as much as <laughs> uh, not as much as i do now i always had a level of respect because i respect people for whatever they do but i do see where it, it is a lot more goes into it behind the scenes than people realize um so kudos to all the prototype artists out there that's doing their thing constantly and doing a prototype for almost every kit that come out i couldn't imagine you know the amount of pressure that goes into getting that stuff out because it's not for me it's not the painting part it's the photographing the the to, to to photograph them and get perfect photos and all that stuff is you know the hard part for me so maybe when i get better with that part i might feel more confident in it but yeah so i just wanted to show um like I said, I wanted to come on and show my baby boy. I absolutely love him. Um, I mean, he came out the way that I wanted him to come out. In fact, um, his modeling and stuff came out a little bit better than I expected it to. And so I was really excited about that. Um, I just love that all the details that I put into my baby. Um, it just, to me... It really um, makes me feel good about myself. And you guys know I'm very hard on myself and I beat myself up a lot. But when I look at my work and from where I started out painting and I just, I'm just really amazed. Like inside his mouth, he has like so many different colors and variations and detail just in his mouth alone. And just, just a different, um just the different colors that's in him um i think that it's just amazing i just i really 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 love this sculpt the lips it's just it's a very sculpt very nice sculpt to work with and paint with and i think that there's going to be so many amazing versions of this baby out i'm gonna have to really take deep breaths <laughs> and not try to buy buy them when they come out because there are some artists out here that are amazing at what they do. I mean, so amazing at what they do. And it's going to be tempting because I really, really love this sculpt. I love the different um, expressions that it gives depending on the angle, how you're looking at it. And yeah, um, he just makes me, he makes me want to just pick him up and like just give him kisses. Like, I don't know. It's just something about it, but something about this sculpt but yeah I I really do um love them and I don't know guys I I've had a very busy busy last you know um year and I am enjoying that it's calming down I'm so excited to be able to paint my next um baby and I can't wait um so <sighs> It's just, it's just so much fun. And I, you know, even though you, you can be stressed out, but the experience alone is priceless because you learn so many lessons along the way. And I, I gotta go. The man is here. Bye.